Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. We get coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, bottom of the deck, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Let's also pull some cards from this oracle deck. Here we go. Listen deeply. I love it, considering the meeting and conversing keyword in the coffee cup oracle card. Composure. Bottom of the deck. Raise your vibration. Super important. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready. So, your energies guys, strength card. World Major Arcana, Nine of Swords, your person's energies, Hierophant, Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Meeting Energies, Page of Swords, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, The Focus, Queen of Swords, Bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Swords which can be an energy about lies, betrayals, deceits. We can agree with the general meaning of the card. But for me, it can also be about behaviors that are not aimed at the best possible outcome. And it can be an energy about self-sabotaging. In this case, I am leaning towards this feeling because this person may be a little bit overwhelmed and confused about uh, partnerships. They can be a little bit out of reach, a little bit unavailable. So the coffee cup oracle card when it comes to the meeting and conversing can be about the interaction between the two of you but we are talking about a friendly interaction meaning that this one is not a couple yet but basically this reading is about two persons that know each other they can hang out with each other, meeting and conversing, in order to get to know each other better and better, for example. But there is something for this person that is playing a role that is not aimed at the most successful scenario. They have a fear, maybe. It can be a fear outdated thinking there is something that is old and the hierophant is an energy about partnerships um, solid foundations we can agree a structured energy because of the two pillars lessons of the journey this person may have fear of commitment but what if their fear of commitment is 
in reality a fear of abandonment, kinda like they are saying in their mind, if I do not commit, the other person cannot abandon me, I cannot be left behind. Well, this one is a delicate topic for this person. The confusion is real, five of wands, a noisy and annoying energy. I usually associate the five of wands to one of Delicia Keys' songs. People keep talking, they can say what they like, but these can be doubts, questions, and even opinions coming from people around this person. You should do this, you should do that, all that jazz that fuels even more confusion. That's why the Four of Cups closed off. Do not disturb me in some sense. But this approach can present to the attention of this person the risk to miss a big chance. Because, guys, according to your combination of energies, um, you are kind of holding back patiently, you are kind of waiting, but doubts are creeping in. So, the Eight of Swords can be a stuck energy, kind of saying, this interaction is not going anywhere. Because the other person, well, the other person can be stuck in their mind. And after all, if there is a pattern, because the Seven of Swords can be a pattern, about self-sabotaging, if they are not able to focus on the Queen of Swords, which is about clarity, basically they are stuck. It's kind of like a, a loop with the cassette Oracle card. replaying events over in your head. This person is basically playing with the fire, allow me to say, when it comes to a potential missed chance. Because, guys, the point for some of you is the following. The strength card is about holding back, uh, displaying your best possible behaviors, which is lovely. Uh, the willingness to overcome challenges, maybe you have already done that even in the past, kudos to you. So maturity, let's say. The beautiful lady is able to earn the trust of the lion because she can display her true colors, her most truthful version. This is what you are willing to do in favor of the connection with this person. And this is some type of a gift because when a person is willing to be vulnerable, willing to open up, they are taking a chance, even a brave one. But this person is stuck and so the Nine of Swords is creeping in. But this is an energy that most of the times is self-inflicted. An exercise of the mind that, as I usually say, is not necessary. We need to snap away from it. Otherwise, we are not able to think things straight. There is a turning point about this situation, guys, this interaction, and it comes with the word. Basically, scenario number one, this person is able to get their act together. The word is about the completion of the struggle related to the Seven of Swords, self-sabotaging mentality. And basically we can move forward with more fairness, balance, respect even, in order to be successful. But scenario number two, if this person remains stuck, there is a completion, meaning that some of you can say, look, I have tried, 
I have put uh, my best effort in favor of the opportunity, but it was not a two-way street. The word is about uh, life chapters, life cycles that follow one another. They come with major lessons. There is a learning curve. Basically, some of you will have the opportunity to evaluate if the other person can take is inspiration from you guys, kind of listening deeply in order to raise their vibration. If so, even a page of swords token, simple but meaningful, can allow the two of you to communicate clearly in order to bring balance, fairness, respect, so that we can avoid one of the downsides of the Six of Pentacles, the one man up, one man down dynamic. In this case, the one man up, one man down dynamic is about the fact that you are putting in a lot of effort and this person, this person has inner patterns that are working as obstacles for them. The Six of Wands can be success moving forward if this person overcomes the struggles and they are able to work with some of you in order to move your connection forward. Otherwise, the success will be in your favor, guys, meaning that you will have the opportunity to uh, move towards different scenarios, uh, hopefully with persons that can be more available because this person kind of seems to be one a little bit out of reach but we cannot force another individual to do something you know they need to get their act together otherwise this is a missed chance so we have a crossroads that revolves around the world basically as an energy the queen of swords the queen of swords in the focus can be an encouragement for this person kind of saying get your act together but also an energy that speaks about some of you because the queen can swing the ace of swords and cut a connection away kind of saying look missed chance i have taken the wrong deck so uh, let's pull some more oracle cards for guidance guys uh, considering these energies to close this reading if this person finds a way to listen deeply to some of you or to their intuition they can find a way to overcome some fear factor otherwise they basically are stuck and this is uh, a missed chance choose a new direction first card out kind of makes the point according to uh, what we have shared about the world peaceful resolution wanted to come out also and improving health well these oracle cards make the point improving health can be the chance to resolve some inner struggle so that the connection can take a step forward and so even some of you can release the nine of swords but if this person remains stuck in order to improve our health we need to uh, turn the page chapter closed it was a missed chance peaceful resolution and choosing a new direction basically bottom of the deck we have ask for help from others this is for me an energy about trusted persons but as we were sharing the five of ones can be about confusion a lot of voices noises around this person and maybe they are not surrounded by persons that can offer in their favor a token that can truly bring clarity in order to notice something or in order to realize that maybe a fear can be overcome you are willing to work with them but basically we cannot do the work for others 
every one of us has their own work to do. And this person has its work to face. And if they do not find a way to get their act together, this is a missed chance. And some of you will direct your attention towards different scenarios. I just want to say that if this person finds a way to be brave and to take a good look at the factors that can be a source of discomfort, there can be a movement forward, more balanced, more fair, and even successful. Kinda giving substance to the meeting and conversing in order to get to know each other even more. Guys, the word is the crucial energy. So I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.